Also tonight, guns at America's airports, the record number of firearms confiscated at security. Wait until you hear just how many of those guns were loaded. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. Well, a record number of guns were found at U.S. airports last year, and a new TSA, TSA report just out today shows a vast majority of those guns were loaded. CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns has more on this disturbing trend. The alarming number from the TSA, more than 6,500 firearms found in passengers' carry-on luggage last year, an increase of nearly 10% from the year before. And 88% of those guns were loaded. Back in May, the TSA administrator warned about this trend. We still have a pretty significant issue with weapons uh, being introduced into the screening process. Four of the top five airports are in the South, with Atlanta, Dallas-Fort Worth, Houston Intercontinental, Nashville, and Phoenix topping the list. Keith Jeffries spent 20 years at the TSA. He says new scanners are making identification more efficient. There are folks that own fire and then there are responsible firearm owners. But unfortunately, we're seeing more and more where folks are saying, I forgot it was in my bag. The TSA requires guns to be unloaded and properly secured in checked luggage. You must also notify your airline. In December, a Rhode Island man was arrested with a disassembled gun hidden in two jars of peanut butter in his checked bag. But it's not just guns. TSA agents in New York found a cat inside a suitcase before Thanksgiving and a four-foot boa constrictor at Tampa's airport. Now to try and get these numbers down, TSA has increased the penalty for just under $15,000. You would also lose your TSA pre-check eligibility for up to five years if caught with a gun, not to mention possible criminal charges. Nora? Caitlin Huey Burns, thank you so much.